Nick and tell me about your favourite bits for cross country. I know this is a bit of a contentious one for a lot of riders out there. Their horses just see that red mist and the big <laughs> open field and the big jumps and off they go. So we off would love they to hear go. your thoughts. I know cross country is one where we really need to have control of the horses. Um, Obviously, you'd love to go around in a snaffle, that's the ideal, but sometimes horses are, you know, just have their mouths are stronger from racing and things like that, so you have to deal with them. Um, and their training needs to be made better, but we have to work with a bit with the training until we can get them to a, a softer bit as, as possible. But um, again, a bit like the show jumping, whatever the horse likes, you can go to a Dutch gag, you can go to your Pelhams. Mm -hmm. There's so many alternative bits out there and a nice snaffle mouth with a bit of a leverage on it is always nice. So again, we've got um, leather pedal that, that we use as, as well, um, a Dutch gags, there's um, Waterfords, all the same ones again. And then the bomber do a lot of really cool little bits. So this is again that really nice um, bomber blue mouthpiece. It's got a little bit of gag action on the side there. It's not quite as much as a, a Dutch gag. You can put a strap behind or a chain behind it. I actually quite like this chain because it's not very thin. It looks thin, mm -hmm. but it's got a lot of webbing to it and it's yes. quite a big wide area. It's not too sharp on them. Um, and so you can get just the right amount of control you um, need from that. Um, and this has been sucked on and chewed on. Yes. Also. And also, these bomber bits, you see they sort of bend a bit, you see that? They sort of, yes. they kind of, as they heat in the horse's mouth, they, they send mold a mould around, around which is lovely. I've got lots of bomber bits, I mean, running gags as well. And people are a bit scared of running gags, yes. um, but you can always get a, um, a keeper put on the string on the side that only lets the gag run a few inches yes. rather than all the way up all the, the way strings, through. you know, yes. so you can you can really regulate that as well, a lot of the running gags and um, they're really good for the horse that want to pull down through their chest and get heavy yes. through there. I find it helps pick them up a little bit, whereas a Dutch gag will make them rounder, exactly. you know, and so, it's, so people think they put sort of gags into all the same group, there's so many different leverages and some horse don't steer in one, we'll steer in another Correct. gag and, and so it really is a, again a matter of trialling and um, and I've got a, well, I think a very good eye for looking at a horse travel and how yes. its neck is put on its shoulders and go oh I think it will be good in a bit with no chain or with a chain or a running gag or this or a sharper snaffle or you know just those sort of things um, and, um, and people have preference of how bits feel in, in, in the reins as well, you yes. know, like I like to ride with two reins yep. cross country, yes. especially with the gag, like you put a, 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 you snap a rein on there and a bottom rein on there, so I can really um, be very tactile with that yes. and, and just have and that feel. control and leverage when you need it, not, yep. not all the exactly. time. Exactly, but some riders find that it's two reins is too much for them, which is totally fine, yes. you know, um, you can get split reins then and de yep, roundings. Mm -hmm. um, and then I did design some reins years ago. Did you? Yes, like for Irish Hallmark, he was so giant, I needed two reins, yes. but I had to slip my reins to the buckle over any drop, oh, anything no. downhill, he was just jumped so big. Yes. And I was like this little <laughs> on him. <Yes. laughs> and so I had the um, rein stitch with rubber on the outside of one and the inside of the bottom rein yep. and then I had three like keepers put on the reins and slip the snap the curb rein through the top oh, rein what a so idea. to hold it as one rein yes. and then when it was getting a bit too strong I could just the top rein was the curb rein and it was my thumb slide it up strong on the curb rein soften again have one rein again oh so it was great yes it sounds like a few of our riders need that those yeah. little riders on the big horses yeah so like if you want to Try that. I can I can send Shamay some pictures of these these reins. You just get your saddle to put some keepers on and it's, and make the reins a bit sort of thinner for your hands, so you fit your hands and it worked great. It was really yeah. really good. He was just so huge and yes. I had no chance keeping all my reins together. Yes. <laughs> it was just like this crazy lady in the reins. Yeah. playing with bits and, and seeing everything and watching the horse and feeling them, um, you just, you finally get that, just that right 
Absolutely. Mix some bits for them, combination. Absolutely, and you know, resistance is a score that a lot of people struggle with, particularly when it comes to their horse's bits. So yes. having that sort of, you know, acceptance is really, really important. Important, mm -hmm. and also the people are already aware that the horse's mouth can't be open, yes. but it is allowed to be. Like the dressage judges are getting better now understanding if the mouth is open a bit, but there's no tension through the back, mm -hmm. it's not the mouth's not open because the back's tense, you yes. know, it's just because it's all that resistance. horse is just, that's why they go, they're light in the mouth, yes. you still got a contact, they're still engaged. Yes. That bit of opening doesn't mean you've got to jam that noseband tighter. Exactly. You know? It makes it worse, like, then the fight it gets even harder. They yeah. become claustrophobic and even more resistant Absolutely. Um, to the hand, and you know, then they do start to tighten up over the back and not use their hind end properly. Exactly, um, exactly, yeah. So oh, Megan, we'd love to know what you use on your young horses or horses that are just coming into work from the breakers. Well, there's um, lots of bits we can use, obviously. We we do tend to put a bit with a FM cheeks mm -hmm. on them. Um, this one is a, a sweet iron bit, again, so it makes them want to suck on it and salivate. It is a single joint, but it is shaped, you yes. know, so I'm not personally a fan of the single jointed bits, um, but we can just start them with that um, sweet iron and it's got that curve there yes. and then move them on to um, other bits from there. So I have lots of different sweet irons here, one with a little French link in it, one with a KK link in it, all loose string ones. But again, the loose string right from the start can be a bit too much movement for them sometimes. Yes. So then um, we can start them, if I find that they feel too fussy in that, the D-ring Myla is awesome. Again, it's got the little side cheeks on it, similar to our FM there, but again, it doesn't crank down like a nutcracker action of yes. a, a um, single joint, and they can move the bit around to where they find it comfortable. So, um, and again, people think, oh, it's really thin, but they just broke it in. They don't want a great big, yeah. thick bit in the mouth, like, exactly. <laughs> a big dummy in there, and it makes them unsettled and it un does. unhappy. Yeah. Um, a bit that is too thick that doesn't fit in the mouth is far worse than a bit that is too thin and can to be sharp. Yep. So that's a really important point to remember when you break in your young horse. Very, very, very important. With a bit why I like um, with the um, nave bits, uh, because they come thin in the centre as well yes. as the tongue, um, it, just, it just is nicer for them as opposed to like the truss bit is great but sometimes horses find the truss bit it's you know it's got that tongue really thick, bit thick for them yes. you know which is why the bomber flexible one is a great alternative it, now yes. for the dressage um and really excited to hear that we can get the bomber flexible mullen made in any thickness as well so oh, it's really wow. customizable which is really awesome that's fantastic i didn't even know that that's fantastic <laughs> that's wonderful but again we put the nave bits on the one which are really sensitive and yeah. um nave bit and then um a cavison to start with, a loose yes. cavison on them, not tighten their teeth, not the mickle them, yep. to shut on the chin, it's a cavison and just let them find their way around exactly. a bit, you keep, know. Keep it simple, really. Yeah, very simple, let the tongue go where it wants to go and I let the bit be a little bit lower than you would normally put it in their mouth because yes. they can hang there and they can, they can flick it around. They and, can pick it up then and, and yep. learn to take contact. That's yep. a really, really good tip. Yeah, really, really, really nice. They, they are much happier as Absolutely. well. Absolutely. Much, much happier. But definitely don't want to be tighten their noses down. And, no. no. And even if, they, if they're fussy and playing with it, you, you give them time, you yep. know, and, and give them time to learn how to move their hindquarters around, push forward, and then one day after a couple of months, they're like into the hand. You're like, oh, that yeah. worked. That was nice. Rather than trying to force it from the front first. Um, but again, the, the turtle bit is really good too for them. Yes. Um, but again, if you find there's too much movement and they're really flicking it, then we go to a, a um, mother mouth with a D ring with a um, mylar or a a nave bit or that bottom bit where it's really stable in the mouth, so they're not flicking yes. it too much. There is a point where they can't flick it around too much and chat their head. You want it to be really stable. Exactly. So you get to sort of, if you're, not, if you're confused about that, then you just ask your coach or find someone who's had experience with that to um, to do, decide whether it's time to change to a really, really soft bit or you just, 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 just put it in and try it. You'll be surprised. Yeah, yeah, absolutely. And sometimes yeah. the things that we think aren't going to work, your horse absolutely loves. Yeah. Um, so it's really important to have an open mind and try those bits that you wouldn't normally try and just see if it makes a difference. 100%. <laughs>